Hey, what is up guys, Sam here, and welcome back to the seventh episode of the Discord bot coding tutorial series. This series is brought to you by Salad. Salad is a cryptocurrency miner that lets you easily earn money when you're not using your computer. Salad is partnered with Discord and all of Salad's code is open source. You can use Salad to redeem rewards like Discord Nitro, Amazon gift cards, and so much more. Need support with Salad? It's easy. Simply head onto the Salad Chef's Discord server and ask in the official support channel. On this server you can also find some of Salad's giveaways, updates and live streams, so stick around. Now Salad have given us a special code just for our audience to use. If you use code TDE, you will earn two times the earnings on your Salad account and get that gift card before anyone else. Check out Salad today at the link below. Today we're going to be looking at timed mutes and adding a mute system to our bot. So we're going to start this off as we would any other command and just make a new file in the commands folder, copy and paste an old bit of code, change it to mute and remove this code we do not need. Okay, so, perfect. So this video is not only gonna show you the mute command, but a very important aspect of JavaScript, which is waiting. So we're gonna basically create a mute command that will then wait whatever time the user sets to then remove the role from the user. So this is extremely useful in cases where you want to wait a certain amount of time before executing an action on a user. So this will be another key feature you can use throughout your entire bot, but we'll be showing it to you as an example today through the mute command. So as normal, we're gonna need a member. So let's let member equal message.mentions.members.first. Sure you're sick of that line here so many times now. And of course we're gonna to need to, if if it's an ID, message.members, message.guild.members.cache.get, and then our right, zero. So that's been pretty standard with the ban kick commands we've gone through. So hopefully that's made sense by now. If you need a refresher on that, make sure to go back to those videos and check out where I fully explained why we use this, and if you don't understand it, just yeah, go back and check out that video. So the next thing we're gonna to need to do is check if there isn't a member, return message.channel.send. Return basically, if you don't know already, it means stop the code there and send a message back. So we're gonna send uh, invalid user provided. So now we're gonna think about the time frame. So let's think of the time frame as the user putting in something like uh, mute, uh, at Sam and then let's say 10 minutes or for example 1 second or 20 seconds or any kind of thing like that. We want you to be able to type a number and then a value. Now you might be thinking that's just going to be a ton of logic code to try and process that but there's actually a library already built for us that can take that number in and turn it into a value that the code can understand. So we're going to need to install another library down here. Do npm i ms. ms stands for milliseconds so basically it takes in a value such as 10s and turns it into a millisecond value. So that 10s would be 10,000 milliseconds. Since JavaScript will read uh, time frames as milliseconds, so we'll need to have something to convert that. So upon installing this, we'll require it in this file. Const ms equals require ms. So now we have it imported into this file. We need to take the argument the user provides. Let uh, mute time equal args1. So this is the second element of the array. So just again, if you did mute at Sam, and then uh, one second, mute would be position zero until we remove it. Then this would be position zero, which we do in the main file. And this is position one. So now that we have the time, if they haven't provided the time, we want to return a message to them saying no time provided. Now next, we're gonna take this value and turn it into milliseconds. So we're gonna do let ms time, millisecond time equal ms, which is what we called up here, mute time. So this will take that value of 10s and turn it into a time. So we'll now have the time that the user's put in in milliseconds, which the bot can understand. So what we're gonna wanna do is now go back to our Discord server and we're gonna wanna go ahead and create a mute role so I'm going to make one called, I'm just going to call it mute, put it in red to show punishment. And that should be what we need for now. We're going to need to make it not be able to speak in the channels we don't want it to speak in. So now we want to head back over to our bot. So now we're going to want to get that role in the code. So we're going to do let mute role equal message.guild.roles.cache. So we can see here again, we're using .cache, since .cache is basically a storage of the roles. Dot. This time, instead of using .get, since we don't have a role ID, we just want to use the name, 
we're going to use dot find. So basically this is similar to a loop again, it's going to loop through the array until it finds whatever we define in here. So it's going to, for each one, we're going to call it or. So or, and we're going to look where or.name is equal to mute. So basically, message guild roles cache find, find in the roles cache of the server, where or is basically the each role, it's going to look through each role and call it or, and if or.name is equal to mute, then it will save it as this mute role variable. So mute role should be the role, but if we can't find the role, return message.channel.send, muted, mute role not found. Next, all we have to do then is add the role to the user, member.roles.add, pretty simple to do, message, mute role. So then we're going to send a message saying the user has been muted, message.channel.send, user has been muted. And then now we're going to use our timeout. So timeout basically will just run whatever code is inside of it in whatever time you provide. So we're going to set timeout, we'll make a function in here using our parentheses and our arrow, and then we're going to put a comma after the closing bracket and we're going to put in here the amount of time which is going to be ms time which is basically that 10 seconds for example turned into 10,000 so make sure yours looks like this make sure you still have this at the end the closing parentheses so basically a parentheses and then a function a comma and then the time so then we want to run member.roles.remove mute role and then message.channel.send mute uh, users being unmuted so now if we head over to Discord and I run mute at Sam, and let's do 20 seconds, user has been muted. If I head over to my other Discord client, we'll see over here, I cannot type in the channel, and we'll wait the 20 seconds out. And we'll see after those 20 seconds, user has been unmuted, and I can now type freely in that channel again. So. That is our timed mute command. You can obviously see there's a lot of uses for set timeout throughout your code, whether it's delaying role additions, whether it's delaying bans, you can add so many different things with the set timeout. So it's an extremely useful skill to know in JavaScript. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, join the Discord in the description or ask in the comments. And I'll see you guys in the next video.